Good morning. I'm Steve from Quantumize, and you're going to want to watch this video because we're about to tell you the most important trends and news driving markets this morning. You're watching the Quantumize Global AM Markets Preview. Good morning. Today is May 23rd, 2019. Looks like the U.S. and China trade tensions are against spooky markets, with the U.S. index futures dropping this morning. Like I've been saying for the past few weeks, I'm always contrarian which means I'm looking for positives this morning when everyone is focused on the negatives. Here's some great points to consider. Analyst earnings sentiment remains low despite a strong 1Q. While negative revisions for expected S&P 500 earnings has paused, we really haven't seen a real bounce back. This could support U.S. stocks longer term as market enthusiasm remains muted right now. Now what am I talking about? I'm simply saying that when enthusiasm for the S&P 500, specifically talking about earnings estimates, and when that begins to bounce back, that's going to be positive for stocks. Notably, despite the growth in buybacks, the relative impact on earnings growth has been muted. Now what does that mean? It means earnings growth has been driven by improving financial health, not financial engineering. Now let's go back to that point I just made a few seconds ago. Once sentiment begins to turn and people begin to really focus on these points, the markets are probably going to move. Second half expectation for the S&P 500 remains muted. Let's see how that shakes out as we enter the summer months here. So what is the final takeaway this morning? I'm looking at consumer tech and tech stocks again. I'm looking to buy the dip with a focus on stocks whose economic performance is disconnected from the gyrations in the macro economy. Some great examples include Walt Disney, Google, Yum China, Bazoon, among others. We'll save one of my favorite China consumer tech names for the stocks trending in the news segment. Now wasn't that a great transition? Because now I'm going to tell you about some really important stock news you need to be following this morning. Amazon is working on a wearable device that can read your emotions. Isn't that cool? Amazon is developing the wearable device together with Lab126, which is the development group behind its Fire Phone and Echo speakers. The wearable device is designed to work with an app and uses your voice to read emotions. The project is codenamed Dylan and it's not clear if it will ever become commercially viable. Who knows if this will ever come to market, but man, it's really cool. Weibao reports first quarter adjusted EPS at beat consensus. First quarter MAUs finished at 54 million. Weibao gives second quarter revenue guidance of roughly $427 million to 437 million, a rise of roughly 7 to 10% on a constant currency basis. This has been one of my favorite China consumer tech stocks for the last four years. Simply buy and hold in my kids' college tuition fund. I haven't really thought about it otherwise. The fundamental outlook for the stock just continues to look strong. Remember, this is a direct China consumer tech play with some serious economic moats protecting its fundamental outlook. And finally, Qualcomm violated antitrust laws with its business practices, a federal judge has ruled. Qualcomm used its dominant market position to charge excessive licensing fees. Qualcomm's practices have strangled competition, the judge wrote in a ruling, agreeing with the FTC findings. Just when you thought the news flow would turn positive for Qualcomm after the Apple sentiment? Yeah, I'm just staying away right now and not buying any dip here. Thanks for watching this video. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment below, shoot us a tweet, or send us an email. Let us know what you think about our AM Markets preview and some other points that you'd like us to mention. I'm Steam from Quantumize, and you were just watching the Quantumize Global AM Markets Preview.